What's going on, guys? Happy freaking Friday. Glad to be here. Glad to be seen. Glad to be heard. Um, I wanted to bring to you today this very special training that go alongs with a newsletter that I sent out to everybody's emails. You should have gotten it. If you didn't, let me know so I can send it to you. But in this week's Friday newsletter, I actually sent out a live case study and showing you the results on one of our Taz Fitness uh, clients, Keisha, how she came to us uh, while experiencing serious malnourishment, where Keisha came to us and she was only eating very few hundred calories. And I'll go into details in a little bit later on. But Keisha came to us eating very little, doing a whole bunch of cardio, working your traditional 40 to 50 hour a week American job from home. And she was really, really struggling to lose weight. She was eating healthy. She was doing all the right things, but yet she still wasn't achieving results. So I wanted to bring to you guys this live case study, share with you the results that we've been able to achieve in the last four months on how we've actually doubled her calories that she eats on a daily basis and she has not gained any body fat. You heard me say that right. This is not a gimmick. This is not a thing. This is not a, a weird, sketchy thing. Yes, you can eat more. You can double your calories and still lose weight under certain circumstances. And I'm going to go into detail. So just hear me out. Wait, the juice is coming. Just wait. So if you are here and I want to be respectful to those that are live, but also that are catching the replay later on to fill you guys in, if you're catching this replay, you are here more than likely because you're somebody that has gone through at least one or two diets in your lifetime. You're probably eating relatively healthy, you're cutting back on all the quote unquote junk food. You may or may not be exercising several times a week, but yet you're either in a plateau or the weight on the scale is actually going up. So at this point, you're probably feeling very frustrated. You feel like quitting and you're just very confused as to how the heck you're doing everything right, but yet the results are not showing on the scale or in the mirror. So I'm going to explain that to everyone today. Now, before I get into the root of this conversation and explain the in-depth details that you need to actually eat more and burn body fat and to break those plateaus that you've been experiencing, we have to go backwards and see where our current society is at how we got to this particular point and what society tells us that we should be doing. So more than likely, society, whether it's from our neighbors, our friends, family, colleagues, the stuff that we see on TV, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube from our favorite influencers, at some point, somebody's told you to eat at 1,000 or 1,200 calories to lose weight, drink these high-protein, nutrient-dense shakes that are only 200 calories. They've told you to do keto. They've told you to do intermittent fasting. They've told you to count points with Weight Watchers. They've told you to do everything under the sun, but yet the diets aren't working. The shakes aren't working. The fat burners are not working. What in the world is going on? One of the biggest problems that I have with society is it gives very wide blank statements out to society and it shares it like it's the gospel or something like for example so you guys can catch on to what i'm saying tv doctors fitness influencers they will say things like to lose weight if your goal is weight loss you have to eat less and move more that's not entirely inaccurate because we know to achieve weight loss, we have to be in a caloric deficit. And if you don't know that, well, now you know. If you are not burning weight, burning fat, 
your body is not in a caloric deficit. You might be eating very little, but your body's not in a caloric deficit. And I'll go into more details about that later because that can be confusing all by itself. But here's the thing. Society is constantly preaching to us through magazines, TV, Facebook, whatever, that you're only one diet away from achieving your results. That if you're not achieving results, you're not working hard enough. If you're not achieving results, you're not following the diet well enough. And the fact of the matter is this, and this is where I want to look at society in the face and say, if your shakes worked, if your fat burners worked, if your counting points mechanism worked, if your keto diet worked, if eating at 1200 calories worked, why in the world are obesity levels and overweight numbers going up every single year? And why have they gone up every single year for the past 20 plus years? Riddle me that one, Batman. Are you really going to try to convince me, a coach that's been in the industry for over 11 years, that if the millions of Americans that partake in diets every single year that go to the gym on a weekly basis, you really going to try to convince me that these individuals are not working hard enough. When over 80% of the clients that come to Taz Fitness and Nutrition, I know this as a statistical fact within our own company. I cannot say this for every nutrition and fitness company in the world, but for our specific own company, because I've ran the numbers, over 80% of the clients that come to Taz Fitness and, the, uh, and Nutrition don't come with an overeating issue. They come to Taz Fitness after running through a metabolic assessment with an undereating issue. So that should wave a red flag for everybody and say, hmm. Because what drives me up a wall more than these blank statements that we give out is when fitness influencers come to hardworking Americans, people that are eating gerbil food, not enjoying any type of fun foods or beverages whatsoever, that are going to the gym on a weekly basis in these foolish, ignorant fitness influencers because they have six packs, they automatically think they know what they're talking about. They go to these people and they say, if you're fat, it's because you're overeating. If you're fat, it's because you're not active enough. Now, listen, this may be true. This may be true. But with 80% of the clientele that come to our company, that's simply not the case. In effect, it's total polar opposite. 80% of the clients that come to Taz Fitness, when we run them through an assessment and we do our consultation calls with them, they're already working out. They're lifting weights. They're doing cardio. They're eating all protein shakes. They're eating healthy foods. They're not drinking a lot of alcohol. They don't smoke. They don't drink a lot of soda. So why in the world are these people still fat and suffering from low energy, low libido? They come to us with thyroid and gut health issues. How is that possible? So when society tells you to go on a 1200 calorie a day diet, when society tells you to do keto, when society tells you just to move more and eat less, you can look them with all confidence in the world and say, you don't know what you're talking about. Look at the numbers in society. Look at the obesity levels going up. But at the same time, gym memberships are going up. The supplement industry is going up. Meal prep companies are on the rise. So all these healthy facilities are on the rise, but obesity levels are on the rise as well. Well, wait a second. Maybe your 1200 calorie a day diet doesn't work. Maybe the shakes are full of shit. Maybe your keto plan's full of shit. Sorry, keto zealots. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but the vast majority of y'all have no business being on keto. But that's a separate conversation. Any doctor 
or medical professional that tells you that you need to eat at 800 to 1200 calories a day, you need to fire that doctor. Point period, the end. And if anybody wants to give me any slack for that, bring your medical professional to me. I'll gladly have a conversation with them. So how is this possible? How is it possible to do all these healthy activities, all the following, all these healthy habits, and we see the scale go up or we see the scale plateau or we only lose a handful of pounds? Well, it's simple. Our bodies don't feel safe. For all my note takers, that's your golden ticket. That's what you need to write down right there. I'll say it again. Your body doesn't feel safe enough to lose weight. Mm. That's probably something that your favorite TV doctor has probably never told you before. You see, the human body was meant for a couple of things. It wasn't meant to move a lot of weight. It wasn't meant to <laughs> run and uh, run really fast like the Flash and jump super high in the air like you're some superhero or something. The body created by God was meant for survival. It was meant to procreate and keep this world and this planet moving forward. So we went become an extinct species. At the end of the day, your body is meant for survival. So understanding that, when we reduce particular foods, when we uh, reduce calories, when we reduce vital nutrients, our body is, it can become in a malnourished state. And when it's not malnourished, if it doesn't have enough calories, which is, for those that don't know, calories just energy. It's just a molecule. It's a chemical compound used for energy to fuel our bodies, to keep us alive and thriving. So when I say calories, basically, I want you guys to think of energy. When our body doesn't have enough energy to sustain our level of activity, to sustain the, the, the vitality and the performance of our bodily functions, you see, our body needs calories. It needs energy to move, to talk. The human brain alone needs several hundred calories just to keep operating. That's your fun fact for today. So here's something that I'll dive into a little bit deeper. Knowing that the human brain requires several hundred calories just to stay efficient, what in the world makes you think your 800 to 1200 calorie a day diet is going to get you to where you want to be? Because yeah, you could lose weight by because you're starving yourself, but you're going to feel like garbage in the process. You see, our body needs calories. It's energy. So when we're suffering from low energy, look at your calories. Look at the food choices. If there's Everything from low energy, low libido, your gut health is very poor. You're suffering from a lot of gut issues. You're, if you're suffering from brain uh, fog, if you're suffering from mood swings, if you're not getting hunger signals, if you're if suffering from a lot of body aches and pains, all of these are signs that our body is trying to communicate to us and saying, hey, I'm malnourished. I need something that you're not giving me. Feed me. So knowing that our body needs a certain amount of calories, a high level amount of calories and nutrients every single day just to perform these bodily functions, to fuel our brain, fuel our organs, uh, regenerate our skin when we get uh, scratches and scars, to talk, to move our fingers, knowing that our body needs an overwhelming amount of calories just to perform at optimal levels every single day. What makes you think that your 1200 calorie a day diet is going to work? Spoiler alert, it's not. And the scale is showing that. Your lack of energy is showing that. Your lack of libido is showing that. 
Because at the end of the day, the biggest thing I want you guys to take away from this training is this. Our bodies were meant for survival. You're not meant to diet year round. At some point, we have to get out of the diet and return back to our caloric maintenance levels. Now, that might be a technical term for a lot of people, but your caloric maintenance level that we should be at the majority of the year is the maintenance level. It's the baseline calories that our body needs just to keep operating at optimal levels. Not okay levels, not decent levels, but optimal levels. And 80% of the clients that come to Taz Fitness, they come with a malnourishment issue. They're not eating enough. And this was the deal with our client, Keisha, which I'm going to share her story with you next. So knowing how the human body operates, knowing why now all these chronic diets do not work because they eventually may lead to malnourishment. And listen, guys, take that boulder off your shoulders. I know you're not doing this on purpose. We don't know what we don't know. So this is going to be an, an important education tool for you to use to go and learn about maintenance calories, learn how much you should be eating. And if you need help with that, then reach out to us. We're more than open to help you, more than willing to help you. Like people need to feel good and the vast majority of the population does not feel good right now. And we won't charge you a dime for that. So never be ashamed to reach out to us. So with all that being said, knowing that the human body needs a certain amount of calories, understanding why it's plateauing and why it's fighting back due to the malnourishment and due to overstress, due to under recovery, due to the lack of calories, the lack of sleep, the chronic exercise that you may have been doing. What do we do? And this goes into the case study that I shared in the newsletter this morning of our client, Keisha. Now, Keisha, whenever we have a client that comes on board with Taz Fitness, we run through uh, three crucial steps, but I'll, I'll save it just due to lack of time, respect for everybody's time on this. Step one is we always run you through a metabolic assessment because we want to see how your body is operating inside on the internal level physiological we want to test your physiological profile to see how how the engine is running before we even think about doing something to the body of that car we want to make sure the engine is running right make sense type yes in the comments so once we ran through Keisha's metabolic assessment there was a, a, a few concerns that we had and just to coach client confidentiality, we won't go into details, but she was suffering from certain uh, physiological issues. But the big thing that I want to discuss today is she had a habit and where I'm thinking a lot of these concerns came from is she spent years barely eating because she was an IT specialist, meaning she worked insane, crazy hours. She, uh, her work schedule is all over the place. She did cycling on the weekends, thinking that that was going to help her burn body fat. She was eating decent foods, but not enough. She was, her sleep cycle was all out of whack. She was suffering from bloating issues and stuff like that. So, and I think a lot of that came from, she was only eating roughly around 800 calories a day. When we went through her assessment and we acknowledged that she was only eating at 800 calories a day, I, listen, guys, after 11 years of doing this, there's very few times any particular story, person, circumstance can cause my mouth to drop open. And when, when we ran through the numbers, after looking at her profile, my jaw dropped to the ground. And I said, oh, dear Lord, this woman was eating 600 to 800 calories a day. And she was exercising on top of that. So whatever she was absorbing, her body was just burning right back off. Her organs just were not getting enough fuel to sustain itself. And she was wondering why she felt like crap every single day. I was like, look at the way you eat. So over time, over the last four months, and this is the extent that, and this is what I want to teach society today. And please, guys, don't be selfish. Share this video because this is going to be the biggest statement that I make for the rest of this year. 
we have to start fueling ourselves because within four months of her working with our coaches, she doubled her caloric intake. She went from 800 calories to 1600 calories on average. And we're still bumping her up more because we know the body requires for most females, the body requires, depending on how active you are and how tall, you know, et cetera, like that disclaimer, most women need to be anywhere from 1800 calories to 2,400 calories. Who here's brain has just been fried entirely because society doesn't tell you that society doesn't tell a woman, Oh, to get skinny, to get that nice booty, you have to eat 2,400 calories. Tell me this. Tell me honestly in the comments. How many of y'all have heard any TV doctor or fitness influencer tell you that? Guarantee you it's not many because guess what? It does not sell. You know what sells? The 1200 calorie a day diets that instantly get results because you're starving yourself. So your body is burning through all that muscle and fat tissue to try to survive. Remember, keyword there, survive. It is burning through those calories and eventually, when it doesn't have enough to keep going, it's going to start shutting down bodily functions. There's your coming to Jesus moment right there. I want everybody to ask yourselves and to think about this. For my visual learners, think about this. If our bodies require over 2,000 calories to operate on a daily basis and you're only getting 1,200 what happens halfway through the day when your body burns through that 1200 calories and it doesn't have any more, what does it do then? It has to conserve energy because we are meant for survival once again. So guess what? It starts shutting down and down regulating very important bodily functions. This is why I'm telling you, if you're not getting hunger signals, that's not normal. If you're suffering from brain fog, that's not normal. If you're suffering from severe bloating and you're not pooping regularly every single day, that's not normal. If your sex drive is not there, it's not normal. So guys, please listen to me because I love you as human beings and I want to help you start feeding yourselves. If you think jumping on keto is going to help you magically achieve your goals, it may or may not because it puts you in a caloric deficit. I don't know your story specifically. I don't know your medical history and things like that. So I can't make a blank statement, but the vast, the large percentage of y'all that take this video, ignore it, go do keto, go do herbal or herbal life, go do intermittent fasting, go do beach body. You try a, yet another gimmick because you're so fucking desperate to lose weight that you're going to keep slowly killing yourself. Newsflash, the shit ain't going to work. And if it does work, it's going to be temporary. You may lose the weight. You may lose two to five pounds by starting that new gimmick because it's something new. It's something your body has never done before. So it's going to respond to that stimulus. But we know 83% of dieters regain their weight back. And answer me this question in the comments. What's your plan to get out of the diet? A lot of you will say, oh, you know, I'll stop dieting once I've achieved my goal. Okay, what are you going to do? Because the vast majority of you keep eating at 1,200 calories. You just do what, you're, what you've considered normal. The normal daily habits. There is literally no one on planet Earth, unless you're working one-on-one -on -one with a coach, there's literally no one that does a diet, achieves their goals, and then goes, hmm, let me return to maintenance level calories, because you don't know that. Normal society, day in and day out, because the media doesn't fucking talk about it, you're not going to do it. So we stay in these deficits. We stay in the malnourishment. We keep starving our bodies. And yet every single day, every single year, the number one complaint inside of doctor's offices is chronic fatigue. And simultaneously within the last five freaking years, we've seen autoimmune diseases on the rise. You want to know the fun fact? 
a lot of auto, and I know I'm going to get shit for this, but I don't care. A lot of autoimmune diseases can be prevented by just eating enough fucking calories. Look at all the thyroid issues in society. Look at all the gut health issues in society. A lot of it stems from the individuals that suffer from autoimmune diseases. They are exercising to chronic extreme levels, taxing the human body, and it cannot recover enough. They're not sleeping enough to properly recover from the high impact of the the extreme beach body workouts and the chronic running and the plyometric workouts, the jumping and doing insanity and P90X because that's what society says you need to do to lose weight. Newsflash. Hey, listen up. Newsflash. You can lose weight and you can do that while just walking every single day. That can be your fitness routine. And I promise you, you'll see results. Beachbody ain't going to tell you that. You don't need insanity, boo-boo. You don't need to kill yourself. And the reason, once again, exercise, chronic stress, undersleep, under recovery, malnourishment are all the reasons we see autoimmune diseases on the rise. And I'm not stupid, guys. I know the vast majority of you that watch this video, you're going to ignore it. And you're going to go do keto anyways, because you're so fucking desperate to lose weight. And listen, it's not the fast road by you, even though, like, for example, going back to Keisha, we doubled her caloric intake in four months. She's lost a total of one inch off her waistline. And the scale stayed the same. She's not losing weight. But that's not the plan for right now. The plan, once again, going back to the car analogy, we have to make sure the engine is running properly before we ever touch the body or the frame of the car. What is the point of changing up the frame of the car if the engine, if the car don't even fucking run because the engine sucks? Eventually, if all you guys do is focus on the body, 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 and what you see in the mirror and you keep ignoring the engine, our heart, our brain, our lungs, our intestines, our hormones, our thyroid, our metabolisms. If we keep ignoring all those physiological issues that need and deserve our primary attention, then eventually that car is going to stop running. And if it stops running, there's no repair in the world to bring you back, boo-boo. That, that's some deep stuff right there, and I was not planning on talking about this. So, hey, I'm sorry ahead of time. Sorry, not sorry, but I'm going to keep saying it just because I care about you. I genuinely care about you, and I want you to thrive. So I want you to be like Keisha, where going into – the next quarter of the year, we're going to go into a hardcore diet with her. And because the engine's running properly, her diet is going to last longer than, or less. Her diet will last less total time than yours will. Because you're trying to run uphill with a hundred pound boulder on your shoulders. While Keisha, she's primed her body. It feels safe. It feels good. So she's going to be running downhill. Her dieting and her weight loss approach is going to be so much easier than yours will. Because every time you diet, it's a hit on the body. Every time you diet, it's a hit on your nervous system. It's a hit on your metabolism. And our body can only handle so many hits until it's like, all right, dude, I'm out. So if you've lasted this long in the training, like, thank you, deeply thank you, because I'm going to assume you probably care about your body. You probably care enough to do things the right way, or at least you're considering it. So just for that consideration, thank you. And your body thanks you. So what we're going to do with Keisha over the next couple of months is we're going to keep working her calories up throughout the holiday season. We're going to make sure that she enjoys life. She has balance between nutrient foods and fun foods. I don't like to call them bad foods. Foods are just foods. 
some foods have a lot of vitamins and minerals in them. Some don't. It's okay. You can have both. That 80-20 rule, that 70-30 rule, it's, it's very real. And it's, it's a very good thing. So we're going to keep building up her metabolism, keep her body absorbing these calories. So everything physiologically, everything internal can keep operating properly at high levels. And then we're going to go into a diet phase. And I promise you, the weight is going to come off like that. Guys, dieting doesn't have to be uh, you bashing your head against the wall. Dieting doesn't have to be difficult. It really doesn't if you know what you're doing. But we don't know what we don't know. So have grace for yourself. Have some mercy and grace for yourself. Start doing things the right way. Start fueling yourself. And if you need someone to walk you through this process, because, hey, it's brand spanking new. I wouldn't expect you guys to know how to do everything perfectly. Reach out to us. Reach out to us for help. Drop a comment. We're here to help you. But don't don't go into the freaking new year. Don't go into 2022 expecting a different result if you're doing the exact same shit. If you're one of these people that are just magically expecting January 1st to be the game changer for you, that suddenly you're going to get motivated because you found keto, you found Herbalife, you think that shit's going to work. Yeah, it might work for a couple of weeks, but what happens when it stops working for you? What are you going to do? Jump on the next thing? Yeah, because that's good for you. We've already talked about how that's bad for you. Every diet that you do, every day that you spend in a deficit, every day you kill yourself in the gym, it's a hit to your body. And remember, our body can only handle so many hits until it goes down. This is why we need to eat. This is why we need to stop following those 1,200 calorie a day diets. So that is how our client Keisha has doubled her calories, 800 to 1600. She's lifting more in the gym. She will tell you straight up her energy is better. Her sleep's better. She's just, she feels just alive. Every day that I see Keisha, that I have the privilege to see her. She looks like a completely different person. Her skin's shiny. Her eyes are bright. She's just smiling. She's happy. She feels fucking good. That's what I want for you. If you're waking up feeling like crap every day, yeah, that's a choice, dude. At that point, that's a freaking choice. You don't have to do it. So if this training was useful for you, please share it. Please get it out to the masses. Because like I said, our company is fighting the huge corporations that have millions of dollars of marketing dollars behind them to spread out these false messages. We need your help. So share this video, get it out to the public so we can get in front of more faces and let people finally get educated on how the human body works and why eating less and moving more is not good advice. So guys, I love y'all. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday season. Please share this video, like it, comment it, push it out against the evil algorithm of social media. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you soon. Peace.